What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another cube draft. Uh, I had like food poisoning or norovirus or something the past few days, and I was like vomiting and pooping Thank you. with the with the with the mud butt, and it was brutal. And uh, so yeah, I've had like an on and off fever, I think, because like I'll, I'll go to I'll I want to like bundle up. Uh, because I'm like freezing and then I'll just take a nap and then I'll wake up and I'll be sweating and I'm like oh god I need I need to not be it needs to not be this hot and uh, as you can tell from the way I'm talking right now still kind of out of it so it's alright How many tickets is a cube? Only 10. 10 tickets per cube. I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, you gotta grab your... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, biogenic ooze. That's exciting. That's what you want to first pick? I don't know. Over cradle? I feel like ooze might come back. I feel like cradle might come back. That's crazy. People got no respect in these cubes, man. No, man, you can tell you're definitely sick because you're drinking that that Gatorade. Yeah, so I, I went to... I had Publix had a free delivery yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but I had one. My first delivery was free through Publix. So I got, like, Gatorade and uh, ginger ale and apple juice. What's the pick here, man? I would just take Cradle. Really? Shut up and yeah. take my money. Have yourself a cube to feel better. Thank you. How'd you lost you? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I will do that. All right. I'm going to take Cradle, but I don't think this ooze is coming back. Don't respect Green, man. No one does respect Green. You're right. Druid. Or Nissa. I like a Nissa. I like a Nissa, too. This is the good Nissa. They're all the good. Well, that's not true, actually. They're not all the goodness. They're not all the goodness. So. Where are the glasses at, Mikey? <laughs> he literally just had them on. Jade I can light or them again if you'd like. Seek. Now that we're in, uh, we're kind of locked into the green here. Um, I actually like Jade light. So do I. I think it's good. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can adjust on the fly. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Kodama's reach, maybe? Hmm. Um Yeah. There's nothing else in here. Pelucranos? Was Court of Calling in the queue previously? I think so. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Cobra or Terrasinon? Terrasty Nasty. I think it's probably Terrasinon. Danny, I totally did get your email. Uh, hilariously. For the uh, Twitch plays magic, for the Twitch plays magic draft, uh, I do want to figure out how we can do that. Uh, I mean, we've done it before, but I just want to make sure that uh, it is uh, in line with what you have in mind. So, gotta be in line with what you have in mind. It's really hard to read my phone with these things on. It's hard to do anything, I imagine. Let's go with. I'm never impressed with the Avamai Elder, but I'm always I'm always pretty okay with Garrick Relentless, so. That's a good dude. I agree with you. Rattleclaw Mystic or Varaska? Ooh. Um, Rattleclaw Mystic. We don't have any yet. Oh, the ooze came back. Told you. Dang, he was right. And the Incubation Druid? Wow. And the Farseek. Okay. Well. 
should also take a home master. I like duplicate over the home master. Uh, sure. Yeah, I like duplicate better than. Yeah, sure. I'll take a stirring wildwood. Actually, probably, if the Vraska comes back. Yeah. Of course, playable. Wow, Lotus Cove are also playable. Wow, alright. So. Literally got every green card. <laughs> seems good. <coughs> There probably weren't enough cards for that Vraska to come back. <sighs> what do we got here? Tireless Tracky, Eugene. I'm not a big fan of Eugene. You are, you said? Yeah. Me too. He just answers everything. He does. He answers everything. Last pick, Grandpa. We we are living the green dream. You're right. Once you get that last pick, Grandpa, it's all uphill, downhill. It's a it's all hills. Oh, tooth and nail. Yes. We don't really. Uh, I guess we have Taraxi nasty so far. We'll probably get some more. Taraxi. We'll get more. No one likes green. I just kind of. I was kind of interested in that cyclonic <gasps> rift. Probably not over tooth. <gasps> oh, I was kind of interested in oh, cyclonic rift. Oh. Wow. Say that now until it blows us out. What did you say to me? So you say that now until it blows us out. Say that now until it blows us out. Yeah, but just because we didn't take it doesn't mean we're not going to play against it. That's true. Even if we or even if we took it or other, we could still play against it because it's a league. The card's messed up, man. You're messed up. These these glasses so perfectly match my skin tone. They're perfect. <laughs> Nothing about you is okay. Nothing about nothing about you is perfect right now. We could take we could take Mask We could take Maskerum just to tooth and nail it out. No, nah, I'm not so sure about that. Or just the court and calling it out. Court of calling it out. We could take Hermit or we could take Vraska. I don't like that here because you don't have ways to really control what goes under the vat. Um you're playing green so you don't really have a lot of removal you don't have ways to kill things i do like Vraska. i think Vraska is probably the best pick here well we don't have a current way to splash her but i mean except for a blooming marsh lotus cobra incubation druid kadama's reach but other than that and you have my elder yeah other than that though we have no way to really play one single black source <laughs> but other than those oh natural order yes please yeah that's really good Steven, thanks so much for this. Really appreciate it. The cheerleader board looked lonely. Also, Mike perfectly matching his skin tone is worth celebrating. I agree. Yeah, the April leaderboard is empty now, so I'm going to take this natural air. Carnage Tyrant. That's a good dude. There's also a Cultivate, but that'll probably table. And we already have Kodama's Reach. Also, the Deep Shadow does make Splashing Vraska easier. There's also an Emrakul. We could probably take that. This isn't the good Emrakul to get with Tooth and Nail, though, unfortunately. I mean, it's probably pretty decent. I took the Carnage Tower, because I think it is... This is this card is just impossible. I, I agree I, I agree with Ben. This card is just impossible to deal with. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Or uh, Super Fritz, rather. I just think this card is really hard to deal with sometimes. Avengers is also really hard to deal with. It's a good dude. Good tooth and nail target. Ooh, E witness. I do like an E witness. That's spicy. Yeah, I'll take an E witness. I don't actually love. I don't love you having my elder. Oh, Oracle. I do love an Oracle though. Tireless tracker. That's like the one dude I wanted to come back. I was going to say Beast Within, but you vetoed that pretty quickly. I didn't even care about your Beast Within. I want to draw cards. Man, even the Hermit Druid came back? Or Deranged Hermit? The der the Deranged Hermit Druid. I watched Lotus Cube Judgment Number 2 yesterday, and i got to say I love your reactions on your opponent's time to answer for everything. It was painful to watch. This is exactly how I feel when I play against decks like that. I feel your pain. Hopefully today's draft will be like that. 7-Eleven makes the Biscuit Boys have it. What does that even mean? I'm going to take this Mask Room here. And then we're going to tooth and nail mask arm and just kill them on the spot. That would be kind of cute. 
but our luck will just draw it every game, so it won't work. He said what now? <laughs> oh, things are back to normal. I recently found your stream and have watched all but the standard ones. Thank you for all the entertainment. You guys are amazing. Shinda, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Noble Hierarch came back because of course it did. So did Blood Braid. Oh, yeah. Never mind. We're not going to take no Blood Braid. We ain't got to go red. We have no way to add red. Except for those ways you mentioned that we have dead mm -hmm. black. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for Idle Claw. Wow. Literally both of these came back. Uh, I don't know which one's better. I think this one's better. It's a, it's a way to sacrifice for natural order. That's and true. It also yeah. adds the black. And we already have Kodama's Reach, so. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like nice. a joke at this point. Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. It's like not We're even real. We're going to have so many playables. We already have 20. Well, the, even, all three of these are even playable, essentially. I was going to say, was that black magic? Black magic? Yeah. What does that mean? Because, never mind. No. Are we 26? This is 30, right? We're just waiting for the new pack. Yep. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, right, right off the top. Come on. Do we even play that? Yeah, that was pack two. Oh, Tooth and Nail. Right, we that was pack nail. two. We have to make three cuts already. And that wasn't even... Yikes. Oof. That Jace boy. He gets Blast Karasses pretty easily. Sucks that we have to pass this Jace. I don't feel good about it. But, uh, what are you gonna do? You also take Trophy. I guess that's true. We could take Jace, actually. I don't think it's that unreasonable for double blue for us. I don't think it is either, but... I think it's either Trophy or Crassus. Over Jace? Yeah, I don't think it's Jace. Mana issues. I take Trophy because I think it's probably the best for what we're trying to do. Which is... To, go ahead. We could play Wasteland. I don't see us playing Wasteland. I can see playing Thrashing Bronted on, though. It's also an all of dust. But it's probably really bad for us, actually. That seems terrible against us. Or for us, I guess. Oh, look, a, a better version of a Thrashing Bronted on. Much better. Also a Domri and an Ajani Unyielding. And Whisperwood, which I actually like a lot. Bro, you'll deck yourself with Whisperwood. What? You'll deck yourself. What does that mean? It means you, every turn you have to take a card off the top <laughs> of your library. You'll deck yourself, man. Hey, man, don't deck yourself. Actually, yeah, this makes blue. This makes blue. This makes blue. Noble Hierarch makes blue. Like, we have a lot of ways they to get blue. Kodama's reach. reach. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should have took the Jace. Oh, look, this makes blue. And Tropical Island. <laughs> yeah, it might just be True Top Village. What? Why do you think that Mold Drifter, man? That's the easiest flash. Yeah, that's true, actually. What about this guy? Not so much. <laughs> oh, man, we could have had we could have had Crucible plus Wasteland. That's true.
and I'm going to switch off of on YouTube all the time. I'm a definite fan, especially when Mike is featured. Elephant, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Glad you could watch on YouTube. Still appreciate the uh, the the YouTube views. Are right, you taking Mel Drifter? Yeah. You don't like Crucible? No. We don't have any way to deal with it. We don't have any way to deal with it. Yeah, we don't have nothing to do with it. We don't have any way to deal with it. Mike B. Sword? Eh, probably. I don't think we need to carry added uh, the good one. They're both the good one. This one, this one wins games. They're both the good one. They are both the good one. Oh, Bayou is nice. Yeah, it seems good here. What if that trop comes back? That'd be great. No fucking way. <laughs> What? Oh, definitely her fellows. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, dude. Thank you. Oh, green sun's in? And sword of feast and famine. Tekka, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Three months in a row. It's either green sun or wicker. I think it's green sun. Green yeah. sun's just better than wicker bell here. Toolbox. Oh, scavenging. Oh, the crasses came back. Yeah, I would definitely play that guy. Oh, yeah. This is okay. We're only got 31 cards now. It's We're, we're fine. This Let's is, play a 60-card deck. No problem. This is all fine. Whisperwood came back. Yep. This does look like the red deck, yeah. I agree. The drop came back. Wow. Okay. Sounds good. And that came back too. Okay. Well. Wonderful. <laughs> Way to be wrong, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Does no one respect the trop? No one respects anything. Even these are both insane. And last pick, also... Garrick Wildspeaker. Wow. All right, twelve cuts. Twelve cuts. Um. Hmm. It's gonna be a little. I think we can cut one of these. Sure. We can definitely cut one of these. We don't have any fetch lands, so I think Lotus Cover is probably the weakest. Sure. We still have four, and we can. Ask, this is gonna actually be a sixteen land deck for sure. Yeah, definitely. Josh, what's going on, buddy? Cut sword. That's no crazy. Way. That's crazy. I think we can consider cutting duplicate. Yeah, I can see that. We can bring it in if we need it. Plus, we have Vraska and Assassin's Trophies and Ugin, so we have a decent amount. Cut Whisperwood Elemental. Sure. I don't know if I love Green Sun here. Eh, it's pretty alright, I guess. Yeah, because we can get like E Witness or we can get a bomb later. I could see cutting Ranger. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, I can see that. No, I think I like having Rex Sage in the deck. No, I would cut that. Sword is definitely not mess. Sword, win, sword wins you games. I would never cut Sword. I'd sooner die. Oh, uh, I would sooner die than you could then maybe Kadama's Reach. I can see cutting the Kadama's Reach. You don't want to cut that much ramp though. You have a pretty high Are you we have seven sources of ramp on the first two turns. Okay, you sold me. Well, 
Why would we cut the black? We have no reason to cut black whatsoever. We have Blooming Marsh, Bayou, Elves of Deep Shadow, Incubation Druid, Sylvan Carry added. Plus a random swamp, probably. Maybe. Oh, I would never cut Oracle. Never cut Oracle of Maldaya. Or E Witness. Both those are are those those are insane cuts. I would never cut those. E Witness and Oracle of Maldaya would never leave green decks. Uh, I could see cutting the Fight Group. I'm still twenty nine. Geez, this is rough. That's funny because Pelucranos is constantly impre impressive to me. Every time I draft Pelucranos or play against him, it's always very, very hard to deal with. It's just a really efficient 5-5 five, five for 4 that ends up killing a thing. Right, so you, get, you end up getting back a creature or a planeswalker. I'm like, we're very thread dense, so getting back a thread's pretty good. <clears throat> like four more cuts this is ridiculous yeah you can actually tooth and nail for eternal witness and something else then get the tooth and nail back like you can green sun zenith for eternal witness get back another card like i mean it's just there's just it's really versatile It's definitely not Nissa. Nissa ramps you into tooth and nail immediately. Like I'm, on, I'm, I'm interested in cutting Green Sun Zenith because you can't get Hydroid Crassus with it. I can see maybe cutting Pelucranos. Yeah. I'm fine with cutting Crassus. That's fine. Crassus? Yeah. Really? I mean, he's good, but I gotta cut something. It's a good X spell, but we have so many, like, mana dumps already. You're a mana dump. Wow. Got him. Two more cuts still? Is Natural Order that good here? I guess Terastodon. Or Avenger or Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're light on lands, though. Like, I mean, even if you're making three or four tokens with Avenger, or if you're, like, making two tokens with Baloth, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, you don't need a million lands in your deck. Like... Uh, I'd like to try Ooze and I'd like to try Hydroid Crassus. I think Ooze is actually really strong. God, two more cuts. This is unbelievable. Yeah, Ooze is gas. I think Ooze is very, very good. What does Ooze do? I mean, I can't tell if you're actually asking what it does, Sammy, or if you're... Yeah, but even a bad Scarab God is still very, very good. Um, I could kind of see cutting Natural Order because it doesn't actually just like win us the game straight away. Right, we don't have like Progenitus or or um, Crater Hoof. Yeah, we right. Crater Hoof. So, yeah, I could see cutting Natural Order. Now I like Tracker because it's great. Uh, it's a great source of card advantage. Is Tooth and Nail that good? I've never really seen it do anything impressive. Okay. Okay, Juboshi. Okay. All right. I think they got one of these two drops. Maybe Rattleclaw Mystic? I don't like cutting Gramp at all. God, there's six of them already. Yeah, but like we want to draw them every game. Yeah, but I don't want to. Yeah, but like having six of them is a good chance to do so. I can Plus, see I can see boarding in trophy actually. Really? 
Yeah, this is it. This is our deck. Because I'd honestly rather play Trophy over Mole Drifter as much as I like Mole Drifter. What the like, fuck? drawing two cards is cool, but, like, answering threats is really relevant in this format. I could see that. There's always targets for Rex Sage. Well, then there's always tokens, targets for Trophy too, right? So you want to play? I don't know, man. No, but Rex Sage is always impresses every time we play it. Yeah, every time I wish I had a Rex Sage. I'm always like, man, I wish I had this effect. Like, yeah, I don't think we need a Mole Drifter. I mean, I want it, but you got to make a cut somewhere. So I think, I think both good. these are insane. Nah, 15 lands is too risky. I don't think you can play 15 Thank lands. You. Danny B with the resub. Seven months in you get my... Yeah, I... Oh, I did answer you. I did answer you, Danny. Um, I have gotten it. I I did receive it. And uh, I'll, I'll respond to the email itself once I... Get my life together. <laughs> so, 12... We have one blue card, so I think we're good with Tropical Island, Carry Added, Rattleclaw, Incubation Druid, Noble Hierarch. It's like five sources of blue. How many sources of black do we have? One, two, three, four, five, five. And two black cards. Yeah, that seems fine. I ain't too worried about it. Yeah, we don't have any ways to search out lands, right, anymore? No, we took out the... Um, okay. All right, let's see how it goes. This is a rough hand, this but... This is a bulligan for sure. A bulligan? This is a bulligan. <laughs> Mr. Timmy, thank you so much for the resub. I'm here for the good time and a long time. Thank you for the concept. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. That and is a sneak. This is a hand. I don't think we need it with Rafellos. I don't think Assuming we need it. lives. I always assume my Rafellos lives. Oh, now it's definitely going to live. Oh yeah, my two drops better than yours for sure. So next time we go forest, add six. We can do a cradle make and just play Nissa. It's true. It's true. Thank you. Ben, welcome back. Thanks so much, Lisa, buddy. Uh, cool. 14 just listens here. Impressive. Like, who celebrates 14 months of anything? That's not to say I'm not happy to still be here. I just think we can find a more suitable number of months to celebrate. We can. We'll get there. So we can go one, two, three, four. That doesn't do anything. Just get in there. Beat him up. I think we do get in there and beat him up. And then this is also a creature, so the cradle's even better next turn. Does it stay in land forever or just forever? Stay? Okay. That's why this Nis is insane. Like you can just make an army of four fours. Play something dumb. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hmm. You can play Oracle. I know that else we get to play another land. And this is why we keep Rex Sage in the main deck, ladies and gentlemen. You could untap our forest and bash, but or we could take up. We could just make another land of forest. Or yeah, another that also makes our cradle better, so you might be forced to tap cradle. Oh, we should have. What? 
doesn't have haste. You tap. You, you, got, you hit the wrong one. No, no, this is the only one that's untapped. I didn't care. It's dumb that you can't keep track of that, though. Well, no, you can. You can right click, and it'll say summoning sick. Oh. But it doesn't matter because we played this after we played the Oracle, so we wouldn't have been able to play the second forest. Was the one we turned into a guy. Oh, I got you. So okay. we couldn't actually target. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now we have access to a lot of mana. Oh, you're just going to get in there? Yeah, I just want to kill this Garrick. I was thinking about just playing Terastodon off of her other ability. That's an option. Get rid of the opposition. And oh, I like that I didn't attack with this. I mean, he's still dead. It's fine. Yeah, but they're at 8, so like we can... We also get to draw like we also have three four fours on board so so they can just go tap 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 ta 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 so they're gonna tap four things presumably and we're just hoping they don't have like cryptic command You got it. Oh, not that one too. Oh, I guess we're just gonna win the game. That's a, that was, I guess they go tap, tap, and then their guys are tapped out, so then we attack them for eight. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it'd be lethal. Seems good. All right, so Rex Sage, I'll bring in Thrashing Brontodon too, just because uh, opposition is no joke. Which gives us Assassin's Trophy, Brontodon, Rex Sage, Terastodon. Technically Ugin. And Ugin to deal with uh So we need one cut. Or do or do we? <laughs> or do we? I guess we don't. Oh yeah, snap it off. Oh boy. <laughs> Deal. That's a turn three Avengers and a car, boys. Oh, Vraska does hit things too, yeah. That's my bad. In the war of the tropical islands, who will win? My dad. Your dad? Hmm. Grim Monolith, huh? <laughs> yes. I wonder if we play that. I don't think we do. Maybe? No, I think we do, because if they untap, they have three, four, five, six, seven mana. That seems pretty scary. My concern is if they just have opposition off the top, I guess, but... Sure. I'm gonna make three colors, man. I wait. Well, I'm gonna do something with it. I tell I you. I didn't do oh. anything with it at all. I literally just wasted my clock time. God. Why do people do that? I don't, I don't understand it. Why do you do anything? Oh, well, fair point. Got him. I wish you drew cradle. That'd have been sick. I'll trade. I'll trade with either of you guys. And imagine if you blew up four mana instead of just three. That'd be sick. Opposition. Nope. Five drops. 100 birthday bits. Mold Hope drink? Mike's having a beautiful birthday. Let's 3 -oh. Also, calm Mike Sass. Calm. Calm Mike Sass is out of control. Oh, a Tamio. Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty annoying. I mean, we can almost kill it.
Can we make a beefy boy? Oh yeah. Untapping doesn't do anything. I guess yeah, we're gonna yeah, we can Yeah, just make a beefy boy. <laughs> a beefy boy. <sighs> Tammy is like opposition light. They could draw three cards here. That's pretty good actually. Tamiyo is impressive. That's a good Flames Augur. I mean, it was five mana to draw three cards, basically. It also prevented us from going nuts. What is it, six mana? Okay, that's not weird at all. Can we play Avenging now? Oh, the sword might. Well, they have a colorless blocker. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can do it all, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't play the twelve, line thirteen. We have no cards in hand. Can we draw a Hydroid Crassus? That'd be gas, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12 mana. 13, 14. Draw seven cards. Seems good. <laughs> well, it'll be only six because the, the X would be... Oh, sure. No, yeah, that's annoying. It's got to be an even but... number. That's actually really annoying. Well, we do have a sword. Yeah. With a stupid colorless blocker. I mean, this next turn is going to be pretty insane, but they could probably just kill it. Oh, they're going to kill it for sure. Man, we need an overrun. We had one. <laughs> He's on the board right now. What we need is a Man, flyer. This, this Whisperwood Elemental is really killing our steez. Surprisingly. They'd be so dead if it wasn't for that. Oh, it says, do you ever feed your cat? I read that as, do you ever feed your car? And I was like, hmm. A bold strategy. <laughs> Yep. Just enough beads to do the deeds. Enough beads to do the deeds. And if we draw any piece of removal, though, they're in pretty rough shape. Don't oh, be. Oh, it's not opposition. Okay, it's fine. Ooh, that's pretty annoying. Come on, Hydroid Crassus. That ain't it. Hmm. Why's he got to have these colorless boys? God. There's no way we can alpha here, right? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, don't. I'm just going to block it with the worm. That's fine. I'm going to trade. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out coolstuffinc.com today. And you can check out my <clears throat> article with some of my favorite War of the Spark previews for Esper. Maybe I don't like that. Maybe I want to just like wreck direct sage or something. <laughs> sure. Is that worth even flipping? Now it's like it's not colorless. Well, now so when they play block. opposition, it is. Oh, well. Actually, it doesn't make sense because they could have still tapped it. I don't know why. They can make a 3-3 three, three now if they want. No, they didn't. Okay. Choose a card. You can have this one. Oh, they're just going to get a slime back next turn and kill our sword. It's pretty bad. Tell me more. You just be attacking with all the bees.
We have so much mana. Give me a tooth and nail or something. There's so many good draws we have here. It's not really one of them. That's not really one of them. How big are our plant boys? One twos. Oh, we haven't drawn land in a while. Got it. Not that we really want to draw land. Right. Like, I'm not thrilled about drawing land, but it's actually not terrible here because it gives us clues and it gives us plants. Oh, they're just going to... Yeah. Oh, no, they're not going to get the sword. Interesting. That is interesting. Sure. Yikes, that's good. So pretty good. <sighs> it's funny we have the sword against the blue green deck, and their Whisperwood Elemental and Worm Coil Engine have been basically keeping them alive. This should just be attacking with all the bees. We'd be we'd lose the game so much faster. Got seven cards in their deck. Maybe they'll mill themselves. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> well, that's the end of that. Josh, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Okay, so just to be clear. Yeah, I like duplicating here. I like Muldrifter here too. Natural order only gets green creatures, right? Natural order? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're dumb for not playing natural order. Well what is it gonna get? Like what if what 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 I guess it wouldn't well it could have got trashed on in that situation. But, but then what does that do? Yeah, Trastorn can't kill creatures. That's true. Never mind. Actually, Maskorm kills, like, their entire board. Maskorm's pretty insane, actually. There's no way we're ever casting it. There's no point of... I, I, I doubt we're ever going to have triple black. But maybe. With Kodama's Reach... Maybe. Okay, let's take out. I think you cut like tracker. Tarless tracker? Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine with it. Keep. Drawing any land in the sand is nuts. I mean, we have Fendor Elves, so. So at worst, we have Rafellos and Fendor Elves, which gets us into both all three of these. Seems fine. Any forest here, we get to play one, two, three, four, five mana. We get to go sword equip. Oh, yep, baby. That's pretty good. Definitely that guy. And that's how you do it.
Hopefully that'll be fast enough where they can't deal with it. Well, unless they go uh, land slime ball. Well, or whisper it elemental. Tamiya? Opposition. Opposition. Sure. At least we have an answer to that. Well, not only do we have an answer, we also have a creature that can't be tapped down, so. Oh, true. Because that's blue. Hooray. Land. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty insane. What's going on, Lethal Steak? Good to see anybody. Consecrated Sphinx gone. Acidic slime gone. Dismember gone. Okay. A lot of top choice answers there. And swords. They're messed up. I just want to be clear that the people who are saying cut sword and cut uh, Rex Sage. You're both ridiculous. <laughs> and I hope you learned something here today. Does anything else... Maybe we board in Carnage Tyrant for something else. Maybe like... Maybe like a Jade Light Ranger in the main deck is just better. I don't know, actually. I think it's fine. I am, and I did. Nice. <laughs> mm, I'll keep this. Hey, what up, Zergo? Well, he missed the land drop, but if we hit a land drop next turn, it's pretty good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yikes. That is a yikes from me. You okay? Just my stomach, you know, no biggie. Garrick, Garrick, Garrick. I'll block this guy. Man, Mask Worm again would be insane here. Yeah, they'd just be dead. Big cringe for me, dog. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, I guess... We're just going to pass and pump this. Mm, actually, they can just deal two damage to something. You can pump it now to prevent that, right? Yeah, but then it taps all our things down. Yeah, we're at 18, though. Yeah, but they go lightning bolts here, and then we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So. I think if they had bolt, they would have used it already. On one of our guys. Well, not if they, not if they wanted to resolve this. <laughs> oh, crying out loud! All right, yeah, we're just gonna do it now. Then I guess. Six 
So he probably doesn't have a lightning bolt. He'll probably just draw it. That's probably what it is, yeah. It's probably just going to become, uh, oh, here's a lightning strike. I have a lightning strike in my hand. Uh, it's a rift bolt. I'm just going to hard cast this rift bolt in my hand. Uh, a braid. A braid, sure. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. If we can draw land, we can actually just go negative four Ugin. I guess it leaves their two idiots alive. Thank you. Alan back with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, I think we're dead. I told you. Yeah, we really need to land there. Hmm, the red deck is very good. Plus he's got Ancient Tomb. What a cheater. He's got Sword too. It's not doing us any favors here. You're not doing anybody any favors. I like Garrick Relentless here. Just kills the yeah, dude. Yeah, kills a random guy. Yeah. Mask Worm is what we're bringing in. Carnage Tyrant, not great. Duplicates, probably okay. Nah. Mm. A little slow. You get a little closer to the ground, cut some more big dudes. I like Pelucranos here. Yeah, that's good. Let's play that. What'd you get? Terastodon. I would say Polychronos and Whisperwood, actually. 41 it. Fat Rex Sage? That's rude. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what we're talking about. We got the Mask Arm, and we also have one Swamp. Mm, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, look, we're one Swamp away. Let me just play Eternal Witness here. Just to block. Sure. Land. No land. Garrick. Yeah, that's better. All right, Garrick, just survive for one turn. He did not. The new single card combat? I have no idea what that is. Yep. Okay, well, that should be good next turn if we can hit one more black source. <laughs> oh, the new card single combat? I, I got what you're saying. Um, I don't know. I haven't had, I don't have too many thoughts about it. Wow, this is, yeah, this is just the, like, once you get the good red deck, you're just pretty much unbeatable. Oh, wow, I like that no attack strategy. That's a good one. It doesn't really do anything, unfortunately. They can just pump this guy to kill Nissa if they want to. Mm-hmm. 
swamp. Wow! Oh. Look out there, boys. Let's see if they want to trade their three for these three. Mm, they do. Outpost Siege, Lightning Strike, and Hazard. Not a land. Yeah, he likes the blocks. That's a good one. That is not. We should have attacked last turn with this guy. I'm regretting it now. Because they have to block here, so they go to six and they take two from whatever they block with. So as long as they don't have a way to deal with damage here. <sighs> they might just be dead. Wow. All right. Maskworm did the job. They also took an extra four off the rekindling Phoenix, which is pretty yep. insane. Yeah, I actually like Big Bronto Dawn. Three four is just huge. Eternal Witness doesn't seem great here. Yeah, we don't have time to Eternal Witness. Natural Lure might even be good here, just to get a like an eight eight on board, nine nine on board, or Avenger of Zendikar or something. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe Oracle's pretty slow. Sure. Kerwood, what's going on, buddy? We are kind of winning. We should probably cut the use Thank here. You. What? Why? It gives you multiple blockers. Oh, that's true, yeah. Chugrin, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 44 months in a row, dude. Thank you so much, man. Two steamy boys. Streamy boys. Uh, Crassus might be slow, but I also think the ability to actually gain life off of it is very, very strong. Mm. His hand's really bad if they kill our tracker. Or our Rattleclaw, but I mean... My card's annoying. Tyrant just doesn't, for six mana, Tyrant doesn't do anything. Not in this matchup, no. He's just like a bad blocker. I guess a good blocker, but whatever. Hmm. 
There you go. There you go. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I'll take steamy boys. <laughs> oh, good times. Your box of strange swag is starting to fill up. Nice. Nice. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's just fine. Although we are quite quite a ways from casting Maskorm in this match. Now, if we tooth and nail that sucker, that's true. We're also pretty far away from tooth and nail, to be fair. Chandra, kill Yikes. this guy. Yeah, Attack for three, bad. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's pretty nuts. So hard to beat Goblin Suck Face. I agree with Goblin Suck Face. Yeah, like we're just drawing. Just dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've drawn half the lands in our deck, so. Oh well. Sometimes you're just not meant to win with the best green deck ever. I don't know about the best green deck ever. What are we missing except for Crater Hoof? Other than Crater Hoof. That's Huff, Crater Hoof. I think that's true. It just like it gives you so many other ways to just randomly win the game. It's just like a silly, a silly thing that shouldn't exist. No one can see that but me. Oh, yeah, but that's enough. <laughs> there you go. Grab my tiny hand. Do you have a tiny hand? You do. Hey, man, are those uh, presidential hands? <laughs> These are. These are presidential hands. I have the best hands. <laughs> huge. Just huge. I might have the mukbang on stream here. What are you going to eat? Some Asian cuisine. Did you order it? Not yet, no. Are you going to go get it? Yeah. But they close at 11, so I've got time. You close at 11. Hey, man, let's just go to the payway. I mean, that's a pretty good joke. Funny joke! It actually just makes me very sad. You're right. Playing against Tom Brady over here. Oh, snap. Oh man, we're doing it. Are you ready for it? Uh, I'm ready. So we can go land, one, two, three, four, five, Nissa, untap, four, three, and then do nothing else. That's unfortunate. Is Mike B free basing Asian cuisine? If by that you mean eating it, yes.
Oh, it's a Kiora. A Kiora. Our opponent is playing quite the pile. It's <laughs> like five color rando. You're a five color rando. Well, that's a good one. Oh, oh, this is great. We can tap this for mana and don't take damage. Hey, nice. Do we kill the Kiora? We can't kill the Kiora. Oh, even with this? Yeah. No, I don't think we care about that yet. We can kill it later, too. We can go one, two, three, four, untap two, and we still get three mana. We never get more than three mana here. We could play Gary, boy. We could play Ooze, too. Let's play Ooze. Get him out there. Have some fun. Have, have some fun. Two three threes for five mana. What a deal. And then you can make more two twos, right? You can make whatever you want. Can you? I think you, you can, can only make, make two whatever twos. you want. Whatever you like. What has the tongue go? Whatever you like. Dang it. They're just going to wipe the board here, so it doesn't matter. And then Probably. We're bad. Oh, him to Torak. That's pretty good. Wow, they hit both of our planeswalkers. That's kind of funny. And now they're going to wipe the board. Oh, they're just going to journey my biogenic ooze. Well, isn't that cute? Yeah, but now we can just get it back. That's true. And then we get another dude. Oh, man. Did they? What did they use this on? That guy? Sure. Well, that's an unfortunate land, considering it's... I mean, we can still cast Trophy. They have no cards in hand? Oh, that's great. a normal human thing to do. Selfish Comics. I am feeling a little bit better, yeah. Uh, still recovering, but we're getting there. Why didn't you do two counters this time? They're, that's literally on the stack right now. Oh. God, what's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm in a rush, man. I gotta, gotta rush to get those counters, you know? You didn't even want to take this card. You thought it was stupid. Turns out you're the one who's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I still think it's okay. I mean, if they top deck Supreme, Supreme Verdict, then they get to... Oh, they get to do a card with this guy. Never mind. Wrath? No. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Elsnorn. Is that all? That's pretty good. I don't know how we beat that. Me neither. Well, that's pretty ama that's pretty amazingly amazingly done. I'm glad I wish my opponent good luck because they sure seem to have it. So we can make two twos that die. That's cool. That's true. Oh, he's got a banishing light. That's also a pretty good draw. <gasps> I concur. Where's my natural order? What would you get? Your mom. You would get my mom. Terastodon. Is that my mom? Probably. Hmm. Huh. I mean, they're in top deck mode. It's not terrible. I don't know. I don't know if we have any ounce to Norn. I don't either. Or this Kiora that's about to pop. Yeah, that makes 11 11s now. Thank One, two, you. three, four, five. Okay, so we're four mana away from this. Huh. Well, that was an amazing game where you top decked uh, 
a less snoring in the banishing light. That was very good. Very, very good. Very good. Congratulations. You doing okay over here? Not Papa Perky. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome and schmelcom. I welcomed and I schmelcomed once. Yeah. Yes. So when you monster, not monstrous, but um, adapt the incubator guy, what does he actually do? becomes a 3-5. Oh, you mean the ability? You add yeah. three mana of any type instead of one. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. You can do whatever you like. Team J, bro. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. Listen. Okay, I'm listening. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. <laughs> okay. Noted. <laughs> Noted. You can do whatever you like. What's that from? Do you know what that's from? It's from um. My dad. It's a song. It's uh. My dad. No, it's not your dad. It's from my It's phone. never your dad. Never? Never. Oh, no. Keep. The Do snappiest. I see two forests and ever fellas? That makes the keep. Well, this game we're going to win. That's for sure. Until we're playing red again. And then we lose. Oh, wait. No, we're not. We're playing against Tom Brady. Still. Yeah, you probably deflated our footballs. <laughs> What's the best deck in this format? What cue advice have you? Hey, buddy, you usually have way more trophies than I do, but I think red is probably one of the stronger archetypes in this format. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I think mono red is the best deck if you can actually get it. Come on, put that Aleshnorn in the graveyard so I don't have to worry about it. Banishing Life, Fumigate, and Journey to Nowhere, all of which are nice. I think it is a TI song. Well, like three or four people have said it was a TI song, so I'm going to assume they're right. I thought you would have known that. Yeah, you think I'm a big TI fan? I think you're. I think you're plugged into the hip-hop scene. A little bit. Ti is not really hip hop though. What? How you? What? What? What are you talking about? Of course he is. He's oh, like, you're just gonna wipe. It's like new age rap. Not really hip hop. Oh, it's a Gideon. Like new metal. I'm pretty sure it's a Steely Dan song. So we have six, seven mana here, huh? It's a giddy boy.
Okay, that's a good one. Wow, that's insane. All right, so Tooth and Nail is going to fire next turn. That's pretty good. Unless they find some way to cheat in the Leshnorn. Yeah, they can still Wrath us. That's true. They could still Wrath us. Then we'd be b, -b, -b, -b boned I don't want to be b, -b, -b, -b boned Here we go. Here we go. I was tempted to kill this with the, the Bronte boy. Yeah, I was thinking about that in the back of my mind. Why not in the front of your mind? <laughs> I don't know, man. It just didn't, didn't steer to the front. Where, where are you getting your Asian food at? I'm now? so hungry. That didn't answer my question. Asian Pearl is where I was going to go. Okay, take it easy. You don't have to but be... If, but if you're hungry in the future, we can go somewhere else. In the future? I mean, yeah. I think in the future I will be hungry. Okay. We'll go to Applebee's again. Um, after the way I felt for the past two days, I'll probably avoid Applebee's for a little <laughs> while. I'm not sure if it was Applebee's related because we had the same things. But just to be on the safe side. Okay, that's fair. I was actually I was joking. I don't really want Applebee's again. You can just go to Big Perks. I don't why it's like it's only eight fifty, man. I ain't going to Big Perks at regular hours. What, you saying we're just going to do one cube? Thank no. You. Exactly. We won't be done. Okay, they long. made a night, so that means they're not wrath on the board. Avid Fiction, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. That's what welcome they want you to back. think, to get your hopes up. Wow, that's really, disor that's really uh, demoralizing. The frontal lobe is used for problem solving. What are you, what are you saying right now, Spencer? <laughs> I already had enough quesadilla explosions this past two days. <laughs> oh god with Gross. the quesadilla being a euphemism for my body oh they made a 1-1 one -one. buddy hmm oh. hmm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11 12, 13 oh wait nope way more oh lordy did you just play this first? probably right I mean it would cost us 2 but then we get that 2 back and they Oh lord. Oh lordy. <laughs> you know, it's a Tapra Fellows. It's absurd. What do we get? Crassus seems good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. I guess even Rex Sage just to d deal with the construct. How about Rex Sage and like Eternal Witness? Oh, it's got the Eternal Witness. Dang it. Wait, you did? Why don't you just get Avenger and Rampaging Bellows? Or something like that. Or What's our Garrick at? You get Five? Why did we could probably just could we have just won the game with this with this Garrick? Can we I think we still can. Three threes can't block? What does that mean? Is that a meme? Oh, the because the you mean with the the hierarchy, yeah, I gotcha. This is the lamest tooth and nail of all time. But it gets the job done. Choose target non-token creature. That sucks. Non-token, guys. I didn't even know that. I did not either. That has never come up before. Oh, and we had Oracle? Yeah, we definitely should have just got, like, Avenger. I didn't realize. I forgot we had Oracle out. There's a lot going on in this game, and I'm sick, and I'm trying to figure my life out. Guys, that's really hard. 
You should probably bash with everybody. Attack your face, attack your carn. Attack your Gideon. And attack your carn. I would have gone there with Rafi boy too. Maybe. And we're just gonna win next turn with Garrick's ultimate, I believe. Oh yeah, we could make like infinite tokens with duplicate or with uh, ooze. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. On the on the sad side, we are only drawing a forest here, so. What do we hit? A Jace the Mind Sculptor, Jesus, a Plow Under, Garrick. Oh, that cat really dragged that. <laughs> uh, Maze of Ith, Lumbering Falls. There is really weird. They also have nine cards in their next one. We're hit from Noble Hierarch, should seal the deal, but. Damnation, huh? It's pretty good. And we're gonna draw a forest. Oh, we 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 had countless misplays this turn. And they get to kill Garrick. That's that sucks. Yep, that was actually insane. Man, you only had black off of that. Yep. Thing too. I mean, they still have six cards in their deck, but Alesh Norn is not uh, in the graveyard yet, so I assume they're just going to play Alesh Norn next turn and kill us. It was good? Too good? I don't know if it was too good. Cool. I'm having a good time. I think I like being sick better, to be honest with you guys. Wow. God damn. Sixteen Three, lands four, in our so. deck. I'm just gonna die this Gideon and draw another fours. We're gonna draw Hydroid Crasses is what we're gonna do. You ready? <laughs> He still dies to a Gideon. Or they just go like banishing light him, kill us. Probably. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations on having everything you needed at every given time. And that'll do it. That's how you won two with a uh, pretty sweet green deck that uh, doesn't actually have the components that you need to really do the job. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. Bye.